Hello Hitubers and welcome back to my channel. A homemade LED voltmeter. It shows that this battery pack is 5 volts, around 5 volts. How I made this homemade LED voltmeter without using any chip you can check in description below. Today project will be about what you can do from old CFL bulb. Subscribe to my channel and watch hundreds of DIY videos. First that you need to do is to open the, the case of the CFL bulb and please be careful not to broke the, the glass. I don't need this. This go directly into the garbage. the bulb case I will use in future projects but right now you need this this electronic board there are a bunch of electronic components but for this project I need this ferret core and this n-pen transistor Let's desolder. And pen transistor. Luckily for me, on the board are marked which one is base, collector and emitter. Every transistor, every end pen transistor, PNP transistor have emitter, base, collector. Next to pull out is the ferret core. So far I desoldered the end pen transistor and the ferret core that is very important and other that I need for making the circuit I can find it on this board also you need a 1 kilo ohm resistor any kind of LED I'm using a 8 millimeters white LED and these are stuff for making a simple circuit called Joule Tiff. What is a Joule Tiff? A Joule Tiff is a minimalist self oscillating voltage booster that is a small, low cost and easy to build. Typically used for driving small loads. The circuit is also known by other names such as blocking oscillator, Joule ringer or Vampire torch from Wikipedia. And almost forget that you will need also a copper wire, isolated copper wire and if you don't have it on this board from the Seafield bulb you can find it the copper wire that you need on this small transformer. Here it is the circuit diagram. We have 1.5 volt battery to mention that this circuit will work uh, from 0.7 volts maximum to 1.5 volts the n-pen transistor 1 kilo ohm resistor here you can use it from 500 ohms up to 2 kilo ohm resistor the core 
this small thing and the LED. The circuit diagram is simple. How to make the coil with the ferret core? You need two wires and just make loops like mine. When you wind the copper wires on the ferret core, you should get something like this with start and end of the wires. First I'm gonna solder the LED and the LED should be soldered the negative lead from the LED on the first pin of the transistor which is a emitter and the positive terminal or lead from the LED should be soldered on collector just like this the one kilo ohm resistor should be soldered on base positive wire from the battery goes on these two wires that are soldered together and the negative wire from the battery goes here on a meter of the transistor It looks complicated, but it's simple circuit of joule teeth that boosts the voltage from zombie batteries or empty batteries, enough voltage to light up the LED. That's why it's called Vampire Torch this circuit works from 0.7 volts up to 1.5 volts negative wire to negative positive to positive and it's working it's a tiny circuit that boosts the voltage Let's try something else. First, I'm gonna solder across the LED two wires. Why I solder two wires across the LED? Because I want to try to light up 60 LEDs, white LEDs connected in parallel. Let's try it. Just to solder. Where? Here. This goes to positive. This goes to negative. Let's see. Will it work? Whoa! Sixty plus LEDs. They are not at full brightness, but they work.
I hope you learned something new in today's video and about dual tip circuit. If you like this video, please share, subscribe, and like. Cool.